Welcome to this Fuchsia's webcast on Speed to Market, how to control supply chain uncertainty to maximize your competitive position. This is webcast number five in the supply chain uncertainty series, and today we will consider the speed to market for the repair and overhaul of a large aircraft engine. It is a complex process to dismantle, repair, rebuild, and test an aircraft engine. It is made up of 10,000 individual parts from hundreds of suppliers from all around the world. Contracted turnaround time is 56 days, but this client was taking 81 days. Not a good place to be with liquidated damages for late delivery. So how does supply chain uncertainty influence speed to market? We need to start from a position of knowledge to understand where time is being lost. Produce a critical path network diagram for the entire process from receipt to shipping. Not many companies have analysed their complete end-to-end -end process in this detail, but until we capture this knowledge of the minimum cycle time, we will not have the confidence of knowing what the ultimate goal could be. In this client example, the absolute minimum time is 29 days. But remember, the contract is 56 days and the client is taking 81. So, why does it take three times as long as necessary to overhaul an engine? Root cause analysis will help identify where the problems are. Nearly always at the top of the root cause analysis is the late receipt of parts. This is the delivery profile where only half of the replacement parts are delivered on time, 30% of parts are more than one week late, and 10% of parts are more than two weeks late. Engines can't ship until 100% of parts are assembled and tested. Result? Engines are set aside and work in progress costs increase. So why is supply chain uncertainty such an issue? Supply chain uncertainty issues usually have their root in the make-buy strategy. Typically, clients have around 3,000 suppliers for a small number of commodities. This results in too many suppliers for the small number of commodities and low purchase values. It stands to reason that if you're not a key customer to the supplier and problems arise, priority will be given to key customers, not you. Market leaders have suppliers numbering only a few hundred and avoid this situation. We recommend you conduct a thorough make-buy strategy review and move towards the correct number of suppliers for your business. Total supply chain performance is about having a balanced approach to all dimensions of quality, cost, delivery, responsiveness and management. These are real client results and you'll note supplier number 5 with the best cost as the worst overall performance. So when you're given the challenge to improve the speed to market of your products, keep your focus on all aspects of the supply chain. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information, please contact us at Fuchsia's.